Yo, what is up, Boss Nation? Your boy, Onto the Boss, is back with some more double header action. We got two games into one episode, plus tons of pack openings. So let's go ahead and jump into the first game. You see your boy wearing the Miami Dolphins uniforms. I'm facing Andrew Luck. I think that's a Team of the Week edition. And also, he has Michael Irvin on his team. Now, I really haven't gone up against a lot of legends this year, but we're going to go ahead and pick off Andrew Luck. And guess what? Bring out the red carpet. This is going to be an easy touchdown just like that. Your boy is up 7 to nothing. So we're going to see Andrew Luck once again here. You see a lot of off-balance throws. And Michael Irvin once again gets yet another reception here. As we move forward, he's at the 4-yard line. He goes in and ties up this game. So Andrew Luck once again with about 33 seconds left. And this guy is actually working with the throwback Reggie Bush. You see he's wearing his old uniform number. And also DeMarco Murray. Here he is getting tackled at the 1. Bring out DeMarco Murray. This guy just pounds the ball in. He now has a 14-7 lead. Now, I got J.J. Wadden. I got J.J. Wadden. This would only happen to me in Madden. So I'm looking at the scoreboard. It's 21 to 7. You know I'm gonna have to start forcing some few things. So I decided to just completely lob the ball up in the air to Julio Jones. And he actually went up there, caught the ball, took this one to the two-yard line. We need a quick score here. So play action to Jimmy Graham, caught him off guard. Just like that, we're only down by a touchdown. So once again, I control my destiny. With about 40 seconds left, I threw this idiotic pass. I don't know what was up with my decision making and it looks like this game is over. But to add the icing on the cake, look what happens to me right here. First I get JJ Wadden, then this happens. Off my dome, off my head. Are you serious? Just a devastating day, but you know what? We're gonna go ahead and play yet another match online this time. We are in Boston, Massachusetts, Gillette Stadium. I don't know why I'm talking like a NFL commentator right now. I'm talking like the the former Gus Johnson. I don't know if you guys remember Gus Johnson, but he used to make things like cinematic. And you know, starting this game off, we had a good defensive stand. We got the ball back. We were all the way at our four yard line. And that is gonna help us get some cushion. Following play, we find Sammy Watkins. You know, I try to go backwards to turn the play into something else, but it wasn't happening. But that is back-to-back -back first downs. Manning stepping back. Wide open. Julio Jones once again bring out the red carpet. Drew Brees goes back to work. Play action right here. Gets rid of it, and I don't know how that happened, but it happened. I think that is Percy Harvin. So today he has two receptions, 61 yards. Down goes Drew Brees, but they recovered it. Arian Foster was right there on third and six. I'm trying to bring the pressure once again, but he does get a first down. Hand off to Arian. Arian Foster gets tackled down at the 36-yard line. Breeze dropping all the way back, gets rid of it, and there goes yet another first down. This time it is Charles Clay, so it looks like a promising drive here. He picks up yet another first down. He's just completely moving the chains. Once again, Drew Brees scrambles out of the pocket, and the game is officially tied up. Now, I was a little frustrated because of the amount of time he took on offense, but yo, credit to him. That was an ideal offensive drive. That's like... In the dictionary, when it comes to offensive drives, that is what you are going to see. Just keep on pounding the ball, playing balanced football. So I have to try to do the same thing here. I have to try to duplicate what my opponent just did. We're going with a screenplay. Marshawn Lynch, look at the opening. Picks up plus 20 yards right there. We're going to go with a screenplay. I was like, should I do it? Should I do it? And I did it. And I threw a pick. Boneheaded play once again. That was Charles Woodson getting the interception. So here is Drew Brees set to take on yet another drive with about a minute left here in the first half. Picks up a first down right there. Once again, he's going to scramble out. Drew Brees finds his target. Did he keep both feet in bounds? Yes, he did. 
Joe Breeze once again scrambles out. That is all Sean Jeffrey. My oh my. I mean, he's been doing that like nine times out of ten. It seems to be working for him. Again, he scrambles out. Pump fakes. Wide open man. Both feet and bounds. He now has the lead. And I'm staring at the game clock right now. Two seconds. You know what that means? Chuck the ball up in the air. That is Jordy Nelson. Give me that, son. That is grown man's football. Jordy Nelson ties up the game. I got the ball to start the second half. I'm going with another screenplay again. He is caught off guard. The blockers did their job. And Marshawn Lynch picks up a huge game. Second and 14. Down goes Peyton Manning. I mean, I took way too much time in the pocket. Third and 22. I tried to use a catch with Wes Walker. He got close to a first down. I was like, you know what? I'm not playing any games today. We're going to go for it. That was an easy out route to Jimmy Graham. You know what? We're actually looking good here. Following that play, Peyton Manning, dangerous pass to Jordy Nelson, does a spin move, takes this one to the three-yard line. I decided to bring in Frank Gore, who got close to scoring. We have hardly seen him this year. But you know what? We got Darrell Young. We've seen a lot of fullback runs the past few episodes. And that right there gave us the lead back. Drew Brees, play action. Scrambles out. Drew Brees, nowhere to go. Down he goes. How did he hang on to the ball? So a big third and 15 right here. Scrambling out as Drew Brees gets rid of it. Almost got intercepted. A bold decision by my opponent. He's going for it here. Drew Brees again almost intercepted by Durrell Rivas. But we're going to take over here at the 12-yard line. I think I only need one play. Seriously. A lot of time in the pocket. Peyton made it. I'm going to do what he does, which is scramble out. I was able to find Frank Gore for the touchdown just like that we have a pretty comfortable lead here we go into the fourth quarter four minutes of football if i can get one more turnover which i do here give me that son use an interception with charles woodson i think this game is over but we're gonna try to put some more points up on the scoreboard drew Brees going deep wait that's peyton manning going deep that's my quarterback that is my quarterback bring out the red carpet untouched julio jones this game is over right he's gonna try to score once again Drew Brees is just, he's lost it. He's lost his momentum. He does, doesn't look the same. And all of a sudden, the connection to your peer has been lost. He basically quit the game. I got the victory. Now, when I got back into the main menu, I saw that Ultimate Team has a new promotion going on. It's the Champ Bailey Throwback. Or should I say Flashback. And right now in the auctions, this card goes nearly a million coins. To be specific, 870k. Obviously, the price will go down as we move forward. But you also see the team of the week. You got Eddie Lacy and also Carlos Dunlap. To get the Eddie Lacy, you got a specific cards that actually go for a lot. You got Mike Evans. You also have JJ Watt, which doesn't go for a lot. But that JJ Watt is a tight end edition card. If you want to go ahead and get him, he's about 38k. Let's go ahead and check out his stats. Actually, never mind. I guess I cut that part out. Now, Mike Evans, he torched us. The announcer was even saying that the guy looked up to Randy Moss and he actually played like Randy Moss. He absolutely torched us, so they have his card for this week as well. Now, I decided to go ahead and get an all-pro pack, all-pro pack bundle. It comes with 15 packs. I haven't done one of these at all. I really haven't, so I don't know what to expect, but so far, we're getting a lot of gold. And here we get Danny Trevathan. He's a 75 overall. That is road to the playoffs. Nothing special out of these. I'm going to go ahead open up yet another one we start off with john greco a couple silvers ej biggers anthony collins and james i hadn't i hadn't big bow i've never heard of him he's a 86 overall strong safety that's a football outsiders but only thing is i don't think that card goes for a lot right now sammy watkins we saw a lot of him in the beginning of Mutt. We get Jason McCordy as well. He's actually a really high overall for a cornerback that's, you know, a regular gold edition. And I'll take that. I really will. I'll probably go ahead and sell him, but I'll take that. Start this off, we get Lorenzo Alexander. We get... Get that out of my face. Get that card out of my face. Chris Clark is... The road to the playoffs card. And we're going to go ahead and move forward. Aaron Henderson. He's a free agent. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Back-to-back -back road to the playoffs. This one is Perry Riley. Our middle linebacker. And that is that. Come on, baby. Give me something good. 
Michael Orr, the blind side. Kimo Ishmael. Hopefully I said that right. He's a strong safety. Deshaun Jackson. He goes for like, I think, 8K, 7K. We'll throw that in the auctions because we already have Deshaun Jackson on our team. I'm going to go ahead and open up yet another All-Pro pack. We got a few more. There goes a duplicate. What are we going to end things off with? We get j another another duplicate. Five more to go. Ladies and gentlemen, I see a blue flash, and it is James Harrison. Stevie Johnson. Jonas Gray. This guy absolutely lit things up. Over 200 yards and four touchdowns. I woke up the next day to pick him up in our fantasy league, and, and, I, and I couldn't. Yeah, someone beat me to it. It's all good, though. I'm not tripping because guess what? I'm going to call that person that picked him up in our fantasy league, and I'm going to tell him I got him a mutt. Yeah, that's right. I got him a mutt. Three more packs to go. We start off with a Chargers home uniform. I'm sure my boy K would love it. Alfred Morris road to the playoffs. We also got Julius Peppers and Brandon Carr. So not a bad pack right here. A lot of value. I'm going to go ahead and open up the last all-pro pack of the day. And don't forget, we also have the topper, the all-pro pack topper. So I really don't know what's going to come out of that, but we're about to find out right now as we get yet another doo-doo pack. Here is the topper, ladies and gentlemen, to end off the episode. We get touchdown, catch, and run. We get forced fumble and Kenny Britt, 83 overall. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's your boy, Onto the Boss. More gameplay will be coming soon. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for the support. And I'll be seeing you guys on the next episode. I'm out.